chocolate, cranberries, cashew butter. What is there not to love? Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where together we create healthy recipes in the kitchen to keep you and your loved ones thriving all year round. Today we're going to be making cashew cranberry chocolate cups. First, let's talk about how you can customize this recipe to work for you and what you already have on hand in your pantry. It calls for two cups of cashews, but you can absolutely substitute this with whatever nut you have on hand. You could even mix up several different types. If you have raw nuts, then I would highly recommend roasting them just because that will bring out their flavor. And you can either do that in the oven or in a dry skillet until they become really fragrant and a little bit darker in color. If you have roasted nuts that are already salted, then omit the salt in the recipe. And last, if you have a nut butter that you would like to use, use one and a quarter cup instead of two cups. Okay, let's begin. I am using two cups of roasted unsalted cashews and I'm going to turn them into a delicious homemade cashew butter. So add them into your food processor, place on your lid, and pulse about four or five times just to break up the nuts a little bit more. Add in one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract one half of a teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt, one eighth to one quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, which I absolutely love because it's so good for your circulation and your digestion. Of course, if you don't want it to be spicy, you can omit this completely. It just depends on who's eating it. It's me, I love these, so I add in a lot. One tablespoon of powdered Lakanto, which is a low glycemic sweetener made out of urethritol and monk fruit extract. Now we all have different bodies and different needs, so please by all means, if this does not work for you, use whatever sweetener does or whatever you have on hand. Again, just try to make it easy with whatever you have. Place on your lid, pulse a few times, and then let your food processor run until you have a creamy cashew butter mixture. Now this can take up to 10 minutes, so you just wanna be sure to stop every now and again and scrape down the sides. When your cashew butter is done mixing up, add in one quarter cup of chopped up apple juice sweetened dried cranberries. I am using the Natural Grocers brand, which I absolutely love. And did you know that cranberries may actually help with lung inflammation? I love that. So add this in and just pulse up a few more times just to mix the cranberries in. Okay, our cashew butter filling is done. I'm going to just remove it out of the food processor and into a bowl. The hardest part for me is not to eat this right now. It is so good. I made this up just a few days ago and I could not stop eating it. It's so good. Now we're ready to make up the chocolate sauce. So in your double boiler or makeshift one, it's really easy by the way, just take a pan, fill up the bottom with about an inch of water and then bring it to a boil. Top it with a glass bowl, making sure that all of the sides are sealed. And then add in one nine ounce bag of dark chocolate chips. Next, let's add in one scoop of organic chocolate bone broth protein powder, which is such a high quality protein to add in because it is free of soy, GMOs, and dairy, and it's so good for your gut health. Last, we're going to add in two tablespoons of coconut oil. Whisk up your ingredients until your chocolate is melted. Mm -hmm. 
In your miniature muffin pan, either line them with paper liners or I'm just going to use a silicone pan so that I can easily just pop them out when they're done. Add in about one teaspoon of melted chocolate into each of these cups. You really don't need a lot. Just enough to line the bottom. Okay, this is an optional step, but if you want your cashew butter to be completely surrounded by the chocolate coating, then you can take your pan and just bring it around in a circle and let the chocolate go up the sides just a little bit. Or you could take a spoon or a knife and press the chocolate up the sides. And then once you have your chocolate the way that you want it, stick your pan in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes to let the chocolate set. I'm actually finding it easiest just to take my finger and swirl the chocolate around to bring it all the way up the sides. Super easy. Much easier than using a spoon or a knife. Just swirl the chocolate around and you get to lick your finger when you're done. Once your chocolate is set, add in about one tablespoon of your cashew butter filling into each of the cups. Take your finger and gently flatten out each of the cashew butter in the cups. Last, top your cashew butter with one more teaspoon of your melted chocolate. Okay, the last step is just to spread the chocolate out evenly on top of your cashew butter and then stick your tin in the refrigerator for about two hours to let the chocolate completely set. And again, I just use my finger, just swirl it around on top just to cover up any of the cashew butter that might be showing. Okay, I just removed these cups from the refrigerator and they look amazing. I wanted to show you just how easy they are to pop out when you use these silicone um, tins. So you just press your finger right through and there she is. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? So easy. Um, another thing. I just barely had enough cashew butter and chocolate, so this made 24. And so if you want to make a little bit less, maybe 20, you might just have a little bit more ingredients to work with. But they look so good and I am ready to give them a try. We're ready to give these a taste. Isn't that pretty? Mmm, these are so satisfying. They're not really sweet. They've got just that little bit of a spicy kick from the cayenne. I can taste a little bit of the cranberry in there. There's not a lot of sugar. Oh, and they're the perfect size to just pick up and eat when you want something sweet. Now remember to store them in the refrigerator in a covered container. Um, and I may have to package these up and hide them because they're so irresistible. You have to give these ones a try. So delicious. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you give this recipe a try, be sure to let me know how it goes for you in the comment section below. I'll see you next week.